Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and welcome to the Unreal Unity and Godot Asset Bundle. Yes, this one has actually got Godot in it as well. This is probably a first as far as I know. One of the major asset manufacturers out there, Lurtez Studios, is now publishing for Godot as well. As you can see, this level opens up directly inside of the Godot game engine. This is a stylized house interior environment. Uh, and really, all you do, open it up, is a .godot project, it is ready to Godot. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, a kind of a very cool development, because we're now going to start seeing, I think, more and more asset manufacturers start to release for Godot as well, especially since Unity, you know, did their thing, and people are trying to diversify their product portfolios a little bit. This is one of the assets you can get in this particular bundle directly for Godot. This is available on Unity and Unreal Engine as well. Uh, here is another Godot environment, less stylized. This is the command center. Again, this is available in all three major platforms. And as it is, you literally just download it. I'll show you how you redeem these and how they work, but literally just download it and it's ready to go. Already pre-configured in Godot, world environment set up and ready for everything uh, to go, which is, again, a very nice development. So if you're a Godot developer in the past, you've always had to do like a manual export, which by the way, you can still do. I will show you how you could do that in just a minute. Uh, but these ones work directly inside of the Godot game engine. Now, of course, these are also available uh, in other game engines. For example, here is the post-apocalyptic environment in the uh, Unreal game engine, running in Unreal Engine 5.4. Gives you an idea of the kind of environments you are getting. Uh, so uh, this is, again, a post-apocalyptic type setup. Let's go take a look at the overview map of this one. You get an idea of the kind of assets that are included in here. So, whoa. Uh, you know, pipes and props, modular materials, some rocks, a uh, broken up ship, etc. Uh, so really kind of depends on the kind of genre of game you are working with, but a very nice set of assets. Now, the thing is, this is a very short-lived bundle because this is a flash sale. What does that mean? Well, that means that there are only six days left as of the time this video goes up. So seven day only, uh, and I'm really late to pick up on this one, sorry about that. But yeah, so it's Lord of the Studio, Unreal, Unity, and Godot mega flash sale bundle. What you're looking at is 35 assets total uh, for $25 USD. That is actually pretty awesome. You actually redeem them on their store. I will show you how that works in just a second. Uh, but first, let's run through what you get in this bundle. Now, with most Humble bundles, you'll notice it is organized into tiers. You buy a hard value tier, you get all the assets below it. You decide how your money is allocated between Humble, Charity, the publisher, and if you so choose to. And thank you so much if you do to help support Game From Scratch. So what you're going to notice here, at the $1 tier, you get stuff. You get two of their plugins, an object distribution tool and a Cosmos plugin. Those are both uh, Unreal Engine only, as well as the Medieval Viking weapons. This is Unreal and Unity, although I can show you how to export them out. Check out the links down below. I will show you how to get from any one game engine to another game engine. It's pretty simple, especially for non-animated props. Uh, so there we go. Uh, the first tier, the median price tier, which is currently looking at, what is that, about $14 USD. Then you get the command center environment. The command center environment, by the way, was this guy right here running in the Godot game engine. Like uh, This guy right here. Uh, it is actually available for Godot, Unreal, and Unity. Uh, we also have the stylized house interior. That would, of course, be this one right here. Uh, this one, again, is available in Godot, uh, Unity, and Unreal Engine. And then we got the abandoned swimming pool environment. By the way, this has been in previous bundles. A lot of Lurtest stuff environments has happened in the past. Uh, so make sure that you don't already own the things you were looking at. That was Unity and Unreal. Uh, we have for all three game engines, the office corridor environment and the abandoned horror mansion environment. Uh, and then for the two engines, we've got the stylized uh, castle environment. Uh, Cyberpunk bench props is Unreal only. Post-apocalyptic weapons, Unreal only. And hatchback car drivable vehicles, Unreal engine only. Now, one thing that you're going to be able to export these out again, but you're not going to get that animation and the blueprints and all that stuff to work in another engine, at least not easily. So uh, we go to the full fat tier and here you're getting, once again, I'm not going to say the engines for all of these things because you can tell which ones are available here at the top by these little icons here. Uh, but you're getting Medieval Village environment. By the way, that has definitely been in previous bundles. The post-apocalyptic wasteland environment. That would, of course, be this one that we saw in action earlier on. Uh, the Siege of Pontmus environment. Uh, stylized Medieval Town. Dark Medieval Mega Pack environment. The U.S. Capital Exterior environment. The Ultimate Level Art Tool. If you're interested in learning more about what these are about, uh, the details are down here uh, in terms of what that does. So that is for Unreal only. 
Uh, Will's room environment for all three, student apartment environment for all three, the carpenter's workshop environment for the two, stylized Tuscany for the two, uh, Cyberpunk Japan hologram prop for Unreal. Uh, looks like all the prop stuff is Unreal only. Again, props are super easy to export. So hopefully in the future, these all get ported over to the other two engines as well. Cyberpunk assault weapons, uh, military drone rigged, Cyberpunk street lights, the sound effects war zone. Uh, interestingly, this is sound effects. It should work anywhere, but it's only showing the two for now. Drivable animated excavator dozer, uh, VFX explosions, uh, cyberpunk handguns, classic tram vehicles, uh, the command center environment. All right, so we're looping now. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the bundle. Uh, I think, again, the big news here is that it is available uh, for all three major engines. Uh, probably about half of the bundles have been ported over, minus the prop stuff. And ironically enough, the prop stuff is by far the easiest stuff to move from one engine to the other. Again, check those links out down below if you want to see how to go about doing that. And then we've got how this works. So actually redeem them on Cosmos, which is Lurtest Store. Uh, so you will get updates as they update them, but they're not unfortunately going to be available on the uh, Epic Marketplace or the Unreal Engine Asset Store. They're all redeemed here on Cosmos. Now the cool thing is how this actually works. So let's say you're interested in that command center. Go ahead, click the command center like so. And then what you do is you come on in here and you'll see a variety of different versions over here. And then you come down here, you say, okay, what platform do I want? And you pick Unreal Engine, Unity, or Godot. So if I pick Unreal, then I come down here, and I pick the particular version of Unreal I want, and then I go ahead and download it. Or I come in here, I go pick Unity, and then I pick the version of Unity, and then the pipeline for Unity. Or I go ahead with Godot, pick the Godot version over here, and then pick the very specific version I want, and then pick, do I want forward plus or mobile or compatible rendering? So most likely forward plus, but you do have that option available right there. And then you go ahead and download. And that's it. That is exactly how it works. I actually like the Cosmos store. I do have one complaint though, if anyone at Lurta Studios is listening, uh, I do wish there was an option to search through your purchases. Right now you can only search globally on their store. I wish there was another sub search so you could easily go through your particular assets and find what you are looking for. Uh, another thing, you are actually getting a, a discount in terms of redeeming these things. You redeem them using uh, a product key that you get on the store. Just click on the redeem over here. Put your code in. If you buy the third tier, you're going to get a, a one, two, and three tier code. So you redeem all three. And then weirdly enough, there's like four things that you redeem on the Epic Marketplace. Don't know why those are there. I, I think they might be at mostly plugins. Uh, but and that is one thing to be aware of. There's a couple redemptions on the Epic Marketplace, like again, three or four. Everything else is redeemed on this particular store. Once you have done that, basically go to your account. Uh, oops, not go to purchases and they will be available there. Now, again, I do wish that there was a search, especially as I'm getting more and more assets on their site. Uh, having that search functionality for your particular assets would be very, very useful, uh, but sadly it is lacking right now. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Lurtest Studio Unreal Unity Godot Mega Flash Sale. The coolest thing here is that transition that they're starting to sell assets directly for the Godot game engine. I know Cinti was experimenting with this. I'd like to see more and more asset creators do this. It is a very good first step, but I think in some ways you kind of need to have your own marketplace or store to be able to pull this one off, at least until uh, Godot get their own store up and running. But that is it. Lurte Studio, Unreal, Unity, Godot, Mega Flash Sale. Again, only less, a little bit less than a week to get this one if you're interested. Let me know what you think of this bundle of the move to Godot. And that's it. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.